From the Opepco Studios in Oklahoma City, this is an OU update with Ryan Aber. I'm Jenny Carlson. Ryan, the Joe Mixon case, the misdemeanor case against him, has come to some conclusion. He pled uh, Thursday morning. What do we know about the, the deal that he struck? Well, he, he pleaded under an Alford plea, which is where uh, he maintains his innocence, doesn't admit to anything, but uh, still accepts the consequences, which are uh, a one-year deferred sentence, 100 hours of community service, and uh, some behavioral counseling, and some, some other costs as well, but uh, those are the, the main ones. But uh, avoids any kind of jail time, which we didn't figure there would be any, but uh, is finally able to, to move forward. Uh, except for the video, which is the next step. Right, exactly, which we don't know at this <laughs> point when that will be released. A new uh, law in Oklahoma would uh, make that open record November 1st, so we don't. with that being a Saturday, we don't know exactly when the release will come. But uh, as you mentioned, probably no jail time that Joe Mixon was facing. This was a misdemeanor trial for uh, acts resulting in gross injury. But he avoids the trial, and that would have probably been something that wouldn't have been very pleasant. Yeah, definitely. And not only for Mixon having to go through that and hear, you know, what everybody has to say about it, have the video shown again, have it brought up again, but uh, to keep OU football players out of the court, there is a, I, I believe, can't remember exactly what the number is. It's in double figures of uh, student athletes that were uh, listed as witnesses for this case. Most of them, all but one, were football players. So uh, you would have in January, just a few weeks after OU season ends, in a bowl game, they have uh, several of their players drug into court on the first day of the spring semester, which wouldn't have been pleasant. Definitely so. Uh, by the way, Mixon's attorney, Kevin Finley, releasing a statement today. Uh, anything surprising in what he said? Not really. He, he didn't apologize directly to the victim. He apologized to anybody who'd been affected, sort of a, a blanket, but said that he was uh, looking forward to getting back to uh, taking away the distractions from uh, OU and the football program and getting back to being a student athlete at OU. Uh, his suspension is uh, over at the end of this year, the end of this season, and uh, it looks like, barring some change, that uh, you'll see him back with the Sooners probably for spring football. All right. Thanks, Ryan. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.